Welcome Guardians. This is Winch here. Wanted to introduce some Destiny multiplayer gameplay, some PvP Crucible gameplay. First footage, finally getting around to doing it. Just, it's been a long process. A steep learning curve for me uh, getting back into this kind of uh, gameplay. It's, it's unique and familiar in a lot of respects too, but I want to kind of break down some uh, things I'm observing in the gameplay and, and explain maybe some of the hurdles that I've had to overcome to adapt to this style of gameplay because it's, it's much different than a lot of first-person shooters uh, in some regards. Uh, here you can see shotgun gameplay. It's one of the things in PvP that people really lean on heavily. I really don't like shotguns. I'm trying to stay away from them just because I see so many people running with them. But here's a classic example right here, just how many bullets the time to kill in this game. Right now I'm using an auto rifle. This is kind of early gameplay. So this is before the most recent nerf. Uh, but that's typical uh, in terms of how many bullets it takes to kill somebody or put an opponent down. Um, as you saw earlier, a shotgun, not exactly a one-hit kill every time. A lot of times I find myself in these kind of range engagements here thinking my shotgun's going to kill in, in these kind of uh, situations. But really, I have to give them credit, at least in some respects, that the shotguns are balanced. That You have to be much closer than you think you need to be a lot of times in order to, uh, to pull off the one-shot kills. Also, meleeing is very important in this game. Uh, I'm not sure what is going on here as I'm twirling around, uh, hitting this guy, nothing's happened. Uh, there's some technical issues with the PvP stuff too. Uh, obviously, netcode is atrocious. Uh, the kill trades is is rampant. You know, by all measures, as a first-person shooter uh, enthusiast myself, I, I I would say to myself, I should not like this game's multiplayer, but I do for some reason. There's something I just find enjoyable about the game, the loot system bringing the single player pve uh, co-op experience into the multiplayer i like the heavy weapons here uh, the lmg type weapons uh, situations like that you're just not going to pull off multiple kills at uh, taking on more one enemy at a time that's another thing that this game i found is is that uh, strength is in your numbers it's very difficult to go uh, the lone wolf so to say and uh, go on rampage without support of your teammate now this game what i'm playing is skirmish it's a more tactical uh, oriented type gameplay. It's just three versus three. You can revive your teammates, uh, is, but it's straight up t basically team deathmatch. Now Salvage uh, allows you to have relics and objectives to capture, but this is strictly just team deathmatch. Uh, enjoy it's enjoyable to be able to revive your teammates, similar to kind of like a Battlefield game where my experience is rooted. Um, I, I enjoy that aspect of this. It, it, uh, it doesn't make the game feel like a complete solo adventure. Now right here, the threat detector. This is the biggest thing. I've had to acclimate myself to in this gameplay. Always knowing when an enemy is in your proximity and starting to read that map is very vital to your success. It's a criticism I have of the multiplayer, uh, but at the same point in time, I see what it's there for. It keeps the action up, um, especially with three versus three. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty situational, and it helps keep that that pace of the game where they want it to be. I, I would like them to see uh, Bungie bring a, a game mode in though, like bare bones type game mode. Where there is no threat detector, uh, maybe there's no supers. It's just it's just guns only, something like that. Uh, I would like to see that maybe in a future uh, DLC release if that is a possibility or not. I don't know. Maybe I'm so acclimated to it now that it would feel awkward not having that. Uh, but the threat detector is certainly one of those things that you keep your eye on constantly in this game. But more importantly, that is situational awareness. I have seen that play in here. Knowing where the team spawns, how to orient yourself to stem that, the choke points, where to throw your grenades. Knowing what kind of grenade to have, uh, I like the lightning grenade because I can stick that in surfaces as a titan. Uh, but um, there, there's so many dynamics in the multiplayer that really allow you to dive into it, to understand it. The class system alone is is huge. I have seen some balancing issues in my experience. I think the titan, the class I run, is significantly uh, challenged in comparison to higher ranked uh, warlocks and hunters. The blade dancer is incredibly powerful. Uh, the blink uh, ability for warlocks to just basically run around with a shotgun, disappear in front of your eyes, and then only to reappear right in front of you at point blank range with a shotgun, and uh, one hit kill you is, is a frustration to me as a titan. I don't have that kind of mobility in this class. To me, the titan's a cumbersome, slow, heavy, big target kind of class. I feel like a big clay pigeon out there uh, with my jump jumping up highly. But it's not to say the Titans don't do good. I'm, I'm finding myself, I finally felt like this two days ago, and this gameplay was well before that, that I finally felt like I got a point in time where I was actually 
running very good in Crucible. I was, I was running high KDs. I was helping my team out. I was stimming the opposition. I, I felt like I knew where the team was coming from, how to control the objectives, how to control the flow of the maps, understanding the maps just to that point where I felt comfortable, uh, under, understanding the, my weapon limitations, uh, the sidearm limitations. Um, I like fusion rifles. That, that That's my sidearm I have. I, I just got Pocket Infinity, the exotic. I'm working on lock the uh, full auto mode of that. Even despite its nerf, I think that's going to be an effective sidearm. Um, sniper rifles. I'm even finding myself using snipers in this game. And if you guys have been following my channel, you know snipers are definitely not a strong suit of mine. But uh, I just got a new Monarchy sniper rifle, legendary rifle, and I think it's going to be a very good PvP sniper rifle as I level that up as well. But all in all, what I'm really showing in this gameplay is to situ situationally try to control the objectives here. Uh, p positioning myself to use the strengths of my weapon to my advantage because that that's that this this weapon right here I will be putting a review of, of it out uh, shortly. Uh, I really like this Vanquisher gun. It's it just chews through enemy. It's like a Sidonia type weapon worth its balancing. It does high impact, kind of a moderate fire rate. It's not the fastest fire rate, but it's accurate and it just puts guys down. Um, but law strafing here. This is again a, a different take from Battlefield. Going from Battlefield this, you don't strafe and shoot in Battlefield, whereas this game you're constantly moving. There is no aim down sight penalty or any of that stuff. Uh, so it's it's a completely different feel. It's fun. That's what this game boils down to. The the, the PvP aspect of this game, despite its technical uh, shortcomings with, with the numerous kill trades, and like I said, note code, it's still fun and enjoyable and it's challenging and rewarding. And there's that constant lure at the end of the match, although I've seen it several times where... It doesn't matter what your ranking is, you can be the best player or the worst player, but the worst players a lot of time get the exotic rewards, but, you know, uh, all of us have the same chance. And I like that lure of the reward system, it keeps drawing me back, hoping that I'm going to score that Monte Carlo, uh, or or whatever the next uh, weapon is that we want to play. But I hope you guys like this video, kind of introduction here, not the best gameplay, I will have better gameplay here to come. Um, it's 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 a game that's that's worth playing and I know you guys on PC can't play it right now Maybe that'll come in the future But uh, it, you know it takes a lot of criticism this game does but I think it has a lot of potential particularly for PvP elements and and, and competitive uh, It's very competitive uh, it, it, To me it feels more competitive than Battlefield in a lot of respects because I feel like there's not that much uh, there, there, There's much more in your control in this game other than the supers the supers I need I think need some work and I particularly again with the Titan I think is a good example uh, but just in terms of this the gunplay the map design is very good uh, it's just all these elements of grenades the supers the class abilities the movements uh, controlling choke points using the right weapon to control to, to control choke choke points knowing which flags to capture which was not like a good strategy on on Venus here it's just to control Bravo and Charlie and just let let the losing team hold alpha Working with your team, uh, getting kind of a master strategy, basic strategy, and then implementing that, and then working with your teammates via communication to do that. It's a very rewarding experience. I find it more enjoyable than a lot of first-person shooters out there. Coming from Battlefield and Call of Duty, I like this more in some respects uh, with the competitive elements of it. Uh, and, and, and you don't have to have a team. That's the other great aspect. That so many times in Battlefield I'll play it, and it's like, if you don't have a team and you're solo out of 64 players, the Lone Wolf's dead. Uh, it's going to be very difficult to do anything on, on that game by yourself. But you can still be, as I said earlier, maybe that was wrong uh, direction I was trying to go. You can be the Lone Wolf in this game. You can be a beast player. Your weapon depends a lot of it, how you know your weapon, how you master it, how you master the recoil, the control of it. Uh, what uh, what roles you have in that weapon stat roles because there's a lot of dynamics in this game where you have like a there you can complement the, the the loadouts to reload the damage buffs uh, there are a lot of roles that will complement each other and you can have that perfect gun that's great just for PvP so a lot of depth so I hope to bring you guys more content here as now I feel like I'm finally starting to understand this game I'll have weapon reviews uh, sidearm reviews and uh, we'll go forth with here primarily it's gonna be Titan with right now because that's the only class I have time to really roll with I don't have multiple classes so maybe that'll change somewhere down the line but I want to introduce you on my channel to finally some PvP gameplay please like and subscribe I will see you guys on the battlefield and I'll have more destiny content to come